going on, Sudo? It will come down to the draft. The draft will set the pace of the entire game. Unfortunately, I don't quite have such a, you know, large breath, voluminous breath as Voluminous, you. huh? I love that word, by the yes. way. So, how do you feel about this? Uh, we did see that Asia Cyan going up against RRQ is going to be one the of our big matches to battle. watch today. Um, let's take a look at uh, predictions after this. I did manage to say that it's going to be a draw, whereas some of you guys are going to go with RRQ, if I'm not mistaken, right? So we believe. I in the believe. Team. I believe in the power of me spoiling it for everyone. <laughs> so anyway, bad. Lancelot and Hayabusa being banned out on the first rotation. Grok being banned out on the second rotation. So I do feel that the third, uh, the fourth, final ban is going to be a very interesting one. So we do see that. Uh, you want to see the Marty's being removed, perhaps? I, I, I definitely think that Marty's is going to be removed. I don't think we're going to see like. Vision or otherwise, but hey, the random game, the random assess ban. Pre previous previous game, you know, it is what it is. You know, I did see it as I did call it wrong, and suddenly the the Gujian was banned out. So I was a little bit surprised. Well, as it's going to be Martis. Was, yeah, Martis is going to be done this time around. It's going to be a very fast lock in for Helcon. So as you're saying, wise, thing, wise lock in. You know, it's worked out for them in the previous games. We saw you know a couple of times as well that they have gone with them. Now we're going to see RRQ. I am Jago has been a massive, you know, carry for the side of RRQ. Obviously, in addition with Tuturu as well as, who can forget, Lemon. Yeah, of course. I mean, Lemon with his godly, godly Kagura. Oh my god, that's just a thing of legend right there. I mean, Fanny and Cho being picked out. Oh boy, we already see that RRQ is not wasting time. They're bringing in the big guns. Uh, uh, this is not even just like the big guns, this is like the cannons, the bazookas. <laughs> really. But we obviously have, you know, the tank, which is going to be Kagura going to be coming in. That should be within the next rotation. Let's see if Asia Saints decides to steal that away because we have seen Fredo, for instance, play Kagura. Yeah, um, to varying degrees of success. Mostly successful. Unfo Some unfortunately, moments. not as successful. Not as, as successful, yes. But it looks like it, they will be going for the Saber and Jaw Hit here. Okay. So, Lemon's Enemy Kagura is, is up and available. Do you think this was a mistake uh, not it's, to steal it's, it away? It's, I mean, with a 91% win rate, if I'm not mistaken, right? In the public servers. That is right. Lemon Your is going to be is uh, locked in very easily, very happily with that definitely. one. And we are going to see that it's going to be Lolita as well that adds it on. That's additional crowd control that's coming through. Who will Air Asia say and decide to round up the composition with the last two picks? To Still being decided on right now. It looks like they want a panda. Okay. I mean, Akai is going to be a good choice here. We do see that Rush is going to go with that jaw hit pickup. And as well as Gripex going with the Akai. So I do think that they are going to be pulling up a wall of Bane. tanks. Bane is going to be an option. And I was just about to say, I think this is going to be a the very good option here coming in from the side of Asia Cyan. We do see that they do have the opportunity to, uh, they do have a lot of uh, capabilities of locking people down. With the triple sweep coming in from the side of solo, uh, from the side of Saber, as well as the ejector with the unstoppable force onto Jawhead. Uh, for side of Bane, however, that's going to be very interesting because the amount of damage it's going to be doing towards the turrets as well as team fights is going to be very, very impactful towards the team. His presence is definitely there. Uh, Gripex on the Akai, I think that's going to be a fantastic pickup for the side of uh, Azure Cyan, mainly because of how disruptive an Akai can be, especially in the uh, stages of especially in the team fighting stages we do see that skirmishes could value we do see that uh, coming in from the side of uh, coming in from the side of RRQ mm -hmm. we do see that they might need to skirmish a little bit more compared to Azure Cyan I don't think they want to be taking Azure Cyan directly in the team fight well I do like the fact that we're going to see for the first time uh, I am Jago we're playing Alpha yeah I think this is the first time we are seeing I am Jago in Alpha let me just check the stats real quick to see mm -hmm. I think you are pretty much right here coming in from the side of RRQ. Oh, but there, 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 might, there might have been one before I this. think there was at least one. I think there was but at least gonna one. But we're going to see uh, for the second time around, you know, Fredo going to be using Bane. And of course, Instinct on Fanny has worked out really well Ultra before. Instinct. We're going to go into game. The game here between Asia Sane and RRQ obviously so brought to you by C Gamer Mall, your Smash one stop them. shop for everything to do with online gaming. Well, Alpha has actually been played in game number one, match six. And 
then game number two, match six, coming in from the side of RRQ. That so was against EVOS, yes. That was against EVOS, but it but was, it was two to rule. two to rule. Exactly. So that is going to be something of a very interesting pickup here for the side of RRQ. RRQ now looking towards getting a little bit of pressure being pushed upon them here. Or by the side of Aegis Sion, Aegis Sion now. Looking towards it, there goes the Sweeping Blades coming out. Will it be enough though? King Fredo has to flicker over the wall. Two flickers for the price of one here. The there speed goes King up! Fredo, Fredo. King Fredo now gets out of there, but it's going to be first blood. blood going over and it's going to be more you kills coming in from the side of Aegis Sion. RRQ looking for an early game advantage over Aegis Sion. And they are finding it not only in the top lane, the bottom lane as well. They do manage to secure a kill. So good job there by them. Now we're going to see Aegis Sion going to respond and saying, since you managed to get some of our heroes away, we're happy to steal away your jungle. So Helka will be able to get that. Looks like Rush will be coming in. Looks like we will not be able to get it. The gold buff does not go across. But Fredo gets a kill here. So we're going to get one of it being swung back into side here. Solos will be coming in. Lab tries to burst out Lemon but still not quite enough. Solos still on the chase within the jungle there. The silence does come through. The blink forward will be there. Unfortunately, Lemon does oh. dash away in time. Might this be a return kill? Solos will be able to best out Lemon. Two for two right now. Asia Saiyan does get a slight goal lead. Asia Saiyan now, the Malaysian team going up against the Indonesian team. We do see that there is a bit of a tie up in terms of kills. However, a slight goal advantage 200 in favor of Asia Saiyan. But it could be one of those really uh, short leads here coming in from the side of Asia Saiyan, considering how aggressive these two teams are. But I do give a little bit more aggression here towards RRQ. Yes, RRQ, I mean, it's still very early. I mean, the goal difference is barely any difference at this point around. So we are going to wait and see. Can, you know, this back and forth action really be able to assist them out? As now we see, RRQ has already, you know, gotten together and started off the turtle. Two minute turtle start here coming in from the side of RRQ. They are going to reset the aggro and it sees the Asia Sion now looking towards getting a fight that could turn out a bad for them. Rush now in the middle of it. He has to get away with that unstoppable force. He's healing up as much as he can. Oh my god. One more auto attack and it could be done for the side of Rush. 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 In the limit with a beautiful beautiful triple sweep coming in from the side of Asia Sion to lock him down. Greed for the lack of the better word kills coming in from the side of RRQ. I mean, really good job done there. Good teamwork, you know, responding. Knowing that Lolita, the moment she turned around that corner, she could have done forward and be able to launch off a stun or a ranged attack. However, the triple sweep comes out just in time to save the fellow teammate. Asia Saiyan does get that one kill in addition. And with that, it's going to turn RRQ just a little bit longer from being able to capture the turtle. Well, beautiful stuff here. Hermit Crab could be a priority here for the side of RRQ. And the slight lead is going to go Initiate over to the side of Asia Sion. However, could they hold on to their lead long enough? Hermit Crab goes over to Rush. Smart Missiles go out. Will it be enough? There goes Way of the Dragon. There goes Nicey delivered into the hands of uh, RRQ. However, Asia Sion trying to turn the fight around. Could it be enough though? There goes the kill over to Asia Sion. There goes one. There goes another one for the side of RRQ. One for one exchange. But it seems that Asia Sion will be able to turn the fight around. And they get it. Nicey done with the triple sweep to solidify that kill giving two for one in favor of Asia Sion. Once again Panjahat finds the right target and the right timing as well. Coming in just for the triple sweep does negate a lot of the potential re-engage from the side of RRQ and they punish severely. Right now we're going to see the top tower already starting to get wailed on by some of the minions and still we're going to see more of it. Liam now does come in. It's only two members that's there. It looks like King Fredo will unfortunately slain. bite the dust this time around. Another one bites the dust just like the song goes. There goes another one but will it be another in favor of Asia Sion though? That was a nice little comeback. Lolita sets up. RQ. That was a beautiful stun onto Rush and it's going you to be pain. Seen for the side of Russia as it gets taken down RRQ slowly going to go at it this is going to be the most competitive match we've seen thus far coming in from the side of both teams a pseudo this will Solos insane. be able to seal it away no he does not decide to go in probably for the wisest choice that's there so only one turtle will be taken this game because the next time the objective spawns it will be the big bad lord now Liam going to go to Solos to stun him out unfortunately the rest of the members of the team just want to be pushing him away from the turret so that they can take it away 
Jeez. First target goal Still gonna be going sure. over to RRQ. All right, we do see a lot of action here coming in from the side of uh, RRQ and Edge of Cyan. Uh, I do believe that both these teams are going to play this really, really safe mm. and they want to try to slow down some of the fights. However, judging from the aggression that's coming in from the side of RRQ, I do think that Edge of Cyan might actually match the aggression with uh, rotations of their own. Well, we'll have to see, can they start to rotate? Because RRQ is doing a good job of waiting at the choke points, you know, denying some vision and denying, you know, the ability to just move across the map. They and need to be able to secure at least one additional turret, maybe across the map. A little bit of uh, lessons being taken Instinct in. Instinct here, oh, gets silence. Oh, there it goes. Petrified, Spin. and now gets taken down. Akai, Grip X now, taking the kill. Uh, I was going to say that... Uh, Coming in from both of these teams, there is just a high level of understanding of macro and micro here. And we do see a good example of macro here. Beautiful stuff being shown here, but it seems that uh, coming in is going to be a nice little flicker away from the side of Azure Science Rush to escape the pain that's coming in. We do see Pajahan Kakap as well as Solos now pushing out over the bot side. This could be a turret. very interesting uh, priority here for them. Despite the fact that it doesn't, it doesn't work out for them in terms of securing their Lord, uh, considering that it's 20 seconds more, it does open up a little bit more options for them to rotate into the bot and mid side. Yeah, I mean, in the first fight out there that we saw, uh, unfortunately, Lolita started charging on her ultimate, but was in that wrong angle. Because of the kickback of Chao, unfortunately, they weren't able to, you know, lock him down any further. So with that, you know, um, a good time flicker, you know, good patience. Oh, they managed to save it. Solos here will be able to get out. He will be able to dash across the wall. Turning on oh, his nice triple sweep there to turn it around, but it's going to be instinct that has to steal cable away. Rush now with the smart missiles. Will it be enough though? No, it will not. Rush will you be taken down. Slain. Nicely done from the alpha for the side of RRQ. This is going to be just back and forth here coming in from both these teams. Destroyed. But back in the top lane there, we are going to see that Fredo did manage to push up one turret as well. So which means now in terms of turrets, Azure Sin is a little bit ahead, but in terms of kill aggression, we are going to see three members now diving under the turret. Will it be enough, Gripex? Why do you decide to move away from your turret but still be able to jump to safety? Oh, Solos, Solos are caught out here. Oh, oh members Lolita's of Asia Cyan! They're coming in! Will they be able to send the fight around? No, it will not. A beautiful dive coming in from the side of RRQ. However, RRQ has to back away. They've got to be careful. There goes the splash damage coming in from the side of Fredo. Fredo spits and goes kill for the side of Asia Cyan. One for one. And man, oh man, this is the fight that we've been waiting for. This is the reason why it's one of our highlighted matches of day number three, week number two. Because man, oh man, to see these two highly tiered, highly contested teams, excuse me, highly sought after teams going up against each other is just a dream come true for me as a caster. Well, we are going to see back in the bottom lane as well. Fanny and Jawhead will be chipping away at each other as they look to create enough distance for the rest of the team to be able to secure out Lord. Well, we do see now a little bit of action here from the side of Edge of uh, Oh, RRQ now in a little bit of trouble. There they go. The Darkness is going to hold on to Instinct, but Instinct still cables away. A very wise choice coming in. We do see that there's not that much commitment coming in from both teams. They only commit once they know that they're able to turn the fight around. But Jahan Kakap actually goes for the triple sweep. There goes the way of the Dragon, and this could be a shift in the balance. And, but no, it's going to be one for one. Will it be another one for one? No, it will not be. It's two for one here. Could it make it for three for one? in favor Your of RRQ. RRQ now the turning the fight around. Gripex is relatively tanky. He's trying to do as much damage as he can and jumps he will away. Be able to get away. I mean, at the same time here, we saw that, you know, Rush and Penjaha really being able to... Uh, sorry, Rush as well as Solo is really being able to push out the mid turret as well. So right now, they are equal. It is 3-3 three to three. in terms of the goal difference. It's only a 1,000 lead at this point. Lord is going to become a huge swing into either team's favor if they are able to secure it. However, no team wants to be the one to lose it away. Definitely no team wants to lose it away. I do feel that both these teams are looking towards getting some of these uh, really big fights that want to favor some small skirmishes, especially Azure Sun and RRQ because the composition is relatively the same. However, I do feel that the CC advantage is in favor of Azure Sun and RRQ wants to set up some small skirmishes and catch members of Azure Sun uh, basically with their pants down and with the numbers not in their favor. Yeah, you do have a lot more, you know, tankier members from Asia Sin. However, if you're looking at burst damage potential coming through, RRQ definitely has that in the later stages of the game. What they're doing now, you know, camping out like this in the brush to assassinate um, and create surprise attacks 
for certain members is exactly what you want to be doing to be winning that middle stages of the game. RRQ does unfortunately have a little bit of a deficit in terms of goal right now, but they should be able to, you know, eat that back with a couple of kills in that middle game. Well, Asia Sire now looking towards being the, the the more aggressive team here. They might actually take a page off the Singaporean counterpart book here, trying to set up, uh, trying to set up an ambush. But it's going to be Pajat again. That's that ambush. burst damage. That was the burst damage that you speak upon uh, coming in that you that you spoke about coming into this game from RRQ. RRQ definitely wants to use that burst damage. But it's all a matter of delivery mm -hmm. coming in. I mean, there's no point if you throw burst damage towards the tanks for the side of Azure Science. So I think Azure Science needs to adjust their pathing and their composition in terms of their formation. The now King Fredo managed to get another turret. Now we're going to see at the same time, we have Solos pushing out in the top lane as well. Really good, you know, uh, aggro juggling from the different lanes that's there. Here we are going to see Solos oh, did have RRQ. the blink out. They gotta be careful though. There goes the third charge of the Jeet Kune Do right into Wave the Dragon. This could be where the fight turns around here for the side of Aegis Iron. Aegis Sion now trying their best to get the damage. Or RQ, they have to be able to make it, but no, it will be not. For not though, as Aegis Sion now trying to turn the fight around. Two for nothing exchange, and this is the amount of advantage they get. Three for nothing exchange in favor of Aegis Sion. Aegis Sion clawing their way back up. I mean, here they can opt to go in for the law take or they can opt for the push on the top side turret. I definitely do agree with the option going for the top side turret just simply because it can Our still be potentially stolen away destroyed. by Kagura. Lemon, of course, is there. Look at that damage! My word, Fredo! Fredo, there's a reason why they call him King, Fre King Fredo and it could be Malaysia has bragging rights over Destroy Indonesia for game number one if this potentially continues. It is tough for them to be slow down, to be able to slow down the pace. They are now going to be a 5,000 goal lead ahead. It's almost going to be the 12 minute mark here. Three towers in addition to what they already have. Asia Sin sitting pretty. However, it is their game to lose if they can't close out the game. Yeah, it could. It potentially could be a game that they lose here as we go into the game. We do see six turrets in favor of Asia Sire with a lead of five thousand in their pockets right now. RRQ struggling a little bit with the pace that Asia Sire is playing, and it could be their game here if they keep it up. RRQ, what do they have to do to catch up against Asia Sire? Pseudo. All they need to do is be able to slow down the pace of the game. Right now, Asia Sire has been been able to, you know. Catch them out across map and that's what will be happening. Right now, there isn't any additional turrets that can be taken. So with that, they should be able to stabilize the game if they are able to telegraph and know which side of the map Asia Sane is moving across. Right now, we're going to see Rush does get spotted by Liam. We, are, we also are going to see that you know, nobody's going to be quite caught out here. Just as I say that, Solos burst out. Lemon completely. Kagura has gone away. I am Jungle has been caught out at a side here and he will be a double kill. Potentially a triple kill. We are going to see that Tuturu will have to be forced to flicker away. As now we're going to see Instinct will be able to steal Cable as wow. we're able to destroy. It is still a triple kill. Great job here by Instinct being able to cut the wave so that the aggression unfortunately can, you know, will be stayed away or deterred just a little bit. But still, 15 to 11 and right now there's going to be a 6,000 goal lead. Lord has been started up and members of RRQ are not fully back and revived. Uh, this is going to be a problem here. It could be uh, Tuturu now trying to be... Uh, the spoiler here for the side of Edge Sire, luckily enough, due to the pathing coming in from the side of RRQ, they won't be able to get there in time. It looks like Asia Sire <coughs> might be able to close out the game now with Lord's assistance being called out here. However, it is not over yet. The fat lady sings. We're going to see oh that Instinct might be able to get out of this very easily done. And now we're going to see RRQ spreading themselves out. Does find that this might be the collapse they're looking for. Fredo will have to flicker away. Oh Does have immortality on him. This is going to be an insane, insane game like we predicted here. And look at that solos now. It popping off like a monster, taking out members of RRQ. The consistency that RRQ has been relying upon now. Starting to look more and more human as the team could potentially lose their second game ever in the entire tournament here as Air just started looking towards getting that top spot and denying it coming in from the side of RRQ Lord knocking onto the doors Tuturu now trying his best and this could potentially be the game for the side of Air Asia Cyan man oh man first game for Asia Cyan first win I mean, how you definitely have something, you know, up your sleeve. I here. told you, I told you. However, you know, 
you just said, you know, maybe they can pull away one game. My sort of question is, could they pull away two games? I mean, considering mm. how they played against... Uh, R, uh, RRQ RRQ I wanted to say RRG Can you imagine Ooh. that? 